For this review we drill down into a new Komatsu model. It is the ZR77 Blast Hole Drill, and this machine is used in quarries to weaken rock before it's excavated out. On the back of the box there's a little bit of general information about the real machine, and if we look underneath the box we see something that's really really small, and this tells you that it's a Weiss Brothers model. Let's load it up onto the Cranes Etc Weybridge and see what we've got. And it comes in at exactly five pounds or 2.27 kilograms. With that, we can open the box and get the model out. The internal packaging is conventional and it's expanded polystyrene trays. And to stop us going into the upside down world, top is marked on the tray. At this point, we need to show some skill with a sharp knife. Or if you don't have any skill, just do what we're doing here. After slicing our way through, we can lift the top tray and there we can see the model wrapped in soft protective paper. After some careful manhandling, we can lift the model out and then investigate the packaging for any more goodies. And in fact, there are some. We have a couple of bags which contain some parts. And there's also an instruction sheet which describes the parts and how they should be used. For the assembly there's only two things to do and that's to fit a light bar at each end of the model. They press into the handrails but they are too loose a fit. So here we've used a little bit of plastic putty in the hole in the light bar and that helps it to stay on the handrail. With the model complete, let's see how much it weighs. And the good old Cranes Etc Weighbridge reports it's just over £3.12 ounces, or 1.7 kilograms. We start underneath by looking at the metal crawler tracks, and they're delicately made and nicely detailed. There's a few hydraulic hoses running about, and some more detailing on the undercarriage. The big round pads on the stabilizers look good too. One of the smaller details is that there's an air horn at each end. The track frames have detailing on the drive sprocket. There's some detail on the frame itself, but the rollers are solid and non-functional. A nice touch on the model is that the handrails are metal and there are very nice photo edged steps. Also looking good are the excellent platform walkways. The machine features a loader arm, and this part is modelled in plastic. The light bars that we fitted earlier are a good looking part. And moving on to the cab, we can see it has sharp Komatsu graphics, and there's a windscreen wiper and nice grills outside. Overall, the detailing of the cab is of a very good standard. Detailing of some other parts of the machine have silver highlights. And there are more sharp graphics on the sides. And that includes the ZR77 number. At the back there's some fire suppression equipment. And there's a support structure for the mast in transport mode. There's a nice tiny graphic and we can just see the air horn poking out. The big grills on the heat exchanger equipment look great. And with the mast up we can see some of the detail around the engine. That includes some very nice fan enclosures and there are a number of hydraulic hoses which add detail. To allow the detail much of the parts here including the exhaust system are plastic. That also includes the jackets for the support rams. And there are soft hoses which run into metal pipework that runs up the mast. The robust looking mast is a metal part. And the detailing on the sledge and rotary drill includes hydraulic hoses. The equipment that handles the drill strings is all modelled in plastic.
we go down under to look at the crawler tracks and they roll very smoothly. The four stabilizers on the underneath of the model can be lowered and they do that by being unscrewed. Out on the test track and the model moves along very nicely with the crawler tracks working well. Among the smaller features on the model are these two fold down stairs and there's also an opening gate at the top of one of them. And there's another stair on the other side. The loader crane has some ability to be moved with the boom being raised and it also rotates. But what it doesn't have is any telescoping function so you can't easily pose it at work. Included in the bag of parts are a couple of drill heads which might be useful if you've got many holes to drill in your desktop. As we've already seen the stabilizers can be lowered by unscrewing them and they have a reasonable range of movement so they will lift the model up. Raising the mast to the vertical position is easy and you just take it slow and steady. When it's just about vertical you locate the lower part of the drill assembly into the opening in the platform. To lock it in place things get a little bit more difficult because there are steel pins to insert and for vertical drilling there's also a handrail to insert and that's also tricky to get in place. It's a fairly loose fit but that's probably a good thing as it won't break if you lower the mast without taking it out first. The sledge with the rotary drill works really well and a key is supplied which allows you to move the sledge on the toothed rack that runs up and down the mast. Once you've got the sledge high enough and you want to begin drilling, you can move the drill string into position and then fix it into the bottom of the rotary drill. The drill string is metal and it has a drill attached at the end and you can slot it into position just as you see here. There's also a mid-level support that you can swing in and clip onto the drill string to give it some stability. Once that's done you can lower the rotary drill and start your drilling. An interesting piece of functionality on the model is that you can replicate angled drilling and you lock the position using a supplied bracket which is a little bit ugly. To make the model look better visually it's much better to use pins. And if you do that you can stick the bracket supplied with the model into your blast hole. If you want to use the model as a transport load it doesn't strip down but you could fit it on a very large trailer such as a Drake swing wing. And if you do that you get an impressive looking configuration. It is a big model so let's check the size. And end to end it's around 19 inches or 50 centimeters. And with the mast up it just so happens to be the same size. Blast hole drills make interesting models and Vice Brothers has done a very good job with this one. The functionality works well and the high level of detail is facilitated by the use of plastic. It is a big model and it is quite pricey. But if you want a modern blast hole drill model, this one is excellent. Thank you.